I recently had someone ask me, what do you do with your old friends when you're on self-improvement? And this is a very common question. Generally, you should drop them. Literally, just leave them, bro. <laughs> if, if you have to ask that question, they're probably not your friends. <laughs> Think about it. If they were truly your friends, do you have to question your friendship with them? If you feel like they don't belong, and this is this is very much this is very less um intuition, this is a lot of rational thinking. If you feel like they belong, then they should probably be there. You have a good reason to keep them around. But if you think that you're on a different level, if you think because of your self improvement you have improved and you need new people, you probably do. There's a level you need to hit where you need to where you reach that level of thinking. Where you're like, okay, I've improved enough to the point where I need new people around me. And generally, this happens around six to seven months into self-improvement, where you've started working out, you've quit most of your bad habits, you've done all that stuff, but now your friends still follow that path. I think you've probably heard the idea of you are the average of the five people you keep around you. You probably shouldn't be keeping them around you. If they're the same person, if they're the same people as they were when you used to suck, because they were that person's friend, that version of you's friend, not your current friend. Stop talking to them immediately if you need to question the friendship. If you feel like it's something that won't benefit you in the future, don't be around them. Here's another question you might ask yourself. Is this someone I would be around for the rest of my life? <laughs> for the rest of my life. <clears throat> and this usually puts a lot of things into perspective. If this individual is someone who inspires you to think, who makes you happy, who makes you feel like you belong, those are probably the people to keep. And generally, most of the people you're around right now are short-term friends. If you play short-term games, you'll get short-term results. Play long-term games with long-term people, and you will get very long-term results. Once you start playing these long-term games, you'll realize that only 20% of the people they keep around you actually help. Keep those 20%. I only have one or two friends. The ones that keep close to me. The rest are just people I know. I conversate with them every so often. Simply because everyone else is not on my level. Only two, one or two people are, are on my level. The rest are just, oh, he's funny. Yeah, I'll keep him around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Most of the people you keep around are idiots. Think about it. What do they do? Are they working out? Are they meditating? Are they doing yoga? Are they actually doing the work they're supposed to be doing? If you answered no to even one of those questions, they are not at your standards. Set standards for your friends. Make sure they fall into them. You should be the one who should be valued, not them. Value yourself higher than others. And you'll start finding that others start coming to you. The ones who you start valuing. Good luck.